The board exam dates are only a few weeks away and the NEET exam is only a few months away for the 2024 batch. And a few days ago, I was trying to come up with ideas which would benefit the NEET aspirants in one way or the other. But YouTube quite literally has everything, right? Videos of motivation, neat tips and strategies. One thing which I did not find on YouTube was someone sharing what they were doing in the same month last year when they were a neat aspirant. And I think this is pretty important because that will enable you right now in the present to get a kind of overview and kind of correlate what your ideal lifestyle and schedule should be. So in this video, I am going to be sharing the kind of circumstance I was placed in in the month of January 2023, the kind of things that were going on in terms of the board exams, the board practicals and content I was focusing on in terms of the NEET exam. So that is what this video is going to be about. Let's get into it. January was quite literally the month of the year when I really got into the zone for studying. I increased the number of hours for studying and I really just became more systematic in terms of everything. So we had the pre-board exams, but to be honest, I have made it clear from the start that my only and only focus is the board exam and most importantly the NEET exam. So I spent very minimum time in preparing for these. You know a lot because you are preparing for a step higher, you're preparing for the NEET exam. Maybe the sort of questions and pattern of questions asked will be different. But overall, if you present what you know in a proper way, then you are bound to do fine in these minor small exams. And I spent the rest of my time of January in really focusing on a lot of the 11th standard chapters. There were a few chapters of 11th standard which I had kind of become well versed in in 11th standard only. So these chapters, I went through them again in depth for like the last time made a note of the difficult areas and solved as many questions as possible from these chapters. I was of the view that I would not be revising these chapters pretty in depth until a few days before the NEET exam. And these notes which I have made now in the month of January came really useful in the month of February, March, April, wherein just before going to the exam, I would have a quick look at it. Now, January was the month when I came with a lot of self-study techniques because I kind of realized that I would only be able to master inorganic chemistry for the NEAT exam if I made what I was supposed to study pretty appealing. And what I did was... I would read the NCRT once, not read it, just have a glance of the topics which were given and make a note of it in these bright coloured notes. And as I would go on writing, I would be able to correlate the concepts and link them together. So a regular pattern is being followed. The stress was kind of starting to reduce in this section and also like the um, textbook had a lot of scattered information. But as I took it in my hands to write it in a different way and in a more appealing way, it all seemed much more simpler. And adding on to this, I made these voice recordings and I kind of like explained everything that I had noted down in a manner which I would always be able to remember it. When it comes to coaching classes, I did not really attend it properly from the month of January because I wanted to expand my time for self-study because I knew that I needed my self-study time. But we had these daily 20 MCQ kind of tests and I made it a point and attempted it every single day even though I would not always be thorough with the concepts. I remember that I tried to change my OMR attempting strategy in this month and it did not go well for a 720 mark paper. I made it a point to stick to the method which I had always followed and you can check out my OMR strategy attempting method checking out the i link above. Do not try and come up with new strategies right now, strengthen what you know and just go with the flow. Now when it comes to human physiology, I was really interested by it and it really intrigued me and I had like a good conceptual basis on the chapter but when it came to the exam, it was not really exam oriented. So my zoology was a bit bad in this section so I really needed to improve in it. So in the month of January, I started making flowcharts for these chapters especially. What I mean by flowcharts is I would just take my NCRT textbook, read it completely make a note of it in a different paper in a summarized version. So the entire chapter would take only like two pages, sometimes one, and then I would stick it in my NCRT textbook. So by doing this, two outcomes had happened. One, at that point, my zoology marks really began to boost and I was really doing well in this section. And two, present me over here, that habit of note-taking has really helped me and it still helps me to this day in first year MBBS. 
Overall, January was certainly a hectic month. We had board practical exams, so that meant a lot of record work, submissions, project work, and just doing the entire practicals and viva. Um, we had the pre-board exams. We had the NEET-related stuff, daily tests and weekly tests as well. It was a lot, and I still had a lot of the 12 standard chapters to be done thoroughly. But I did not do it in the month of January, rather I did it in February because I knew that I would already have to do that again in the board exam point of view. So I kind of clubbed the kind of neat stuff with the board exam in the month of February. Rather in the month of January, I was focusing on a lot of the chapters of 11th standard because I knew that if I did not do it now, then I would never do it. This was the kind of outline of January 2023 for me. But I want to add one more thing here. You are not attending a dummy school. And as frustrating as that may be, I will tell you that you are going to be so proud of yourself when you come to MBBS. Because MBBS is really hectic. We had our first internal exams and it's like multiple NCRT books combined together. So just for like 100 mark exam, we had the upper limb, lower limb, histology, embryology, general anat, a lot. Which is hard to manage and to do it just a few days before the exam, it's really hard, close to impossible. But I was kind of able to scrape through it because I know how to balance things. And that's only because I didn't go to a dummy school. That's only because I learned it the hard way, how to manage board exams, doing record work, submissions, and doing everything whilst managing the NEET exam study. So as frustrating as it is for you now, it's really gonna help you when you come to higher studies because of the hard work you're putting in right now. That was another sort of motivation, which I do hope helps you as well. Well, that's it for this video. Please let me know down in the comments if this kind of helps you in one way or the other, and if I should continue this for the month of February or March. Even if you say no, I'm probably gonna do it as well. But come back next week for more time out to the ICV. Bye. 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 Bye.